So refraction at the spherical surfaces and by lenses. This is the area we are going to look into. Here is the index we are going to talk about the refraction. Refraction at spherical surfaces and by lenses. Refraction by a lens. Power of a lens. Combination of thin lens in contact. These are the areas we are looking into. Refraction. Refraction is the bending of your wave when it enters a medium where its speed is different. You are able to see the real position of fish is here. But it is shown as here it is the apparent position of fish. The refraction of light when it passes from a fast medium to a slow medium bends the light ray towards the normal to the boundary between the two media. We have so far considered a refraction at a plane interface. We shall now consider refraction at a spherical interface between two transparent media. An infinitesimal part of a spherical surface can be regarded as planar and the same laws of refraction can be applied at every point on the surface. Just as for reflection by a spherical mirror, the normal at the point of incidence is perpendicular to the tangent plane of the spherical surface at that point and therefore passes through its center of curvature. This is how the refraction of at lens is happening. This is the object, it's up, this is your eye lens. And you are able to see it is in the down position, the reverse of retina position, based on the objects hitting the lens. We first consider the refraction by a single spherical surface and follow it by thin lenses. A thin lens is a transparent optical medium bounded by two for surface at least one of which should be spherical. Applying the formula for image formation by a single spherical surface successfully at the two surfaces of the lens. We shall obtain the lens makers formula and then the lens formula. From the figure the geometry of formation of the image I of an object O on the principal axis of a spherical surface with the center of curvature C and radius of curvature is R. The rays are incident from a medium of refractive index N1 into the refractive index N2. Here is the lens. As before, we take the aperture of the surface to be small compared to other distance involved so that a small angle approximation can be made. In particular, N M will be taken to be nearly equal to the length of the perpendicular from the point N on the principal axis. We have for small angles tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. So for NOM, the triangle NOM, which is MN divided by OM, for NCM, we got NM opposite side by adjacent side MC, for NIM opposite side MN divided by adjacent side MI. Now for the triangle N O C, I is the exterior angle, therefore I is equal to N O M plus N C M. 
So tan of n O m is given by m n divided by O m and tan of n C m is n m divided by m C. So I is equal to m n divided by O m plus m n divided by m C. Similarly, R can be manipulated as n C m minus n I m. You got the value R. So obviously for n C m, it's n C m n m divided by m c and n i m we got n m divided by m i so this is a one so by Snell's law we will be getting n one sin i is equal to n two sin r and if this is a really a small angle we got we will remove sin i as or replace sin i as i and sin r as r we got n n i n one i is equal to n two r. So we got i as this one and r as this one. Substitute the value of i and r over here. You got n one into this one and n two into this one. So n one is multiplied individually, and the common value that m one divided by m i is taken here. And the minus of this one is taken here. You got it like this. Over here, these two are common. So obviously, we'll get m1 out. m1 and m1 is cancelled. We got n1 divided by om plus n2 divided by mi is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by nc. So it can be written as n1 minus n2 or n2 minus n1. So OM, MI and MC represent magnitude of the distance. So applying the Cartesian sign convention, OM is equal to minus U because it is in opposite direction and this one is in positive direction. So M i is u, it's v. M c is r. Substituting the value of these things uh, in the equation, we'll be getting this one. So equation four gives us the relationship between the object and image distance in terms of refractive index of the medium and the radius of the curvature of the curved sub spherical surface. It holds for any curved spherical surface. 